Hello guys and welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. I'm sorry about last episode. I have no idea what happened, but my audio as you saw went to shit. But <laughs> I think that's okay. So you could just enjoy the rest of the story in that episode and don't listen to my fucking crappy voice because I know my, my voice my voice ain't perfect. I am aware of that, thank you, but screw it, let's stop talking about my voice and keep on going. We are at Twiddle Brothers' office. I'm sorry, big guy, you can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever, so I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, right? Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Who the fuck are you? Flycatcher. <laughs> Who's Flycatcher? What brings you here? Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. Who is Flycatcher? Investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Maybe if his name was in Norwegian, I would have rec recognized him, but just super annoying I have no idea cool. who he you is know where in he English. went no I don't know what he wanted I, I didn't see what he did after I'm really sorry big me yeah it's okay man was he telling the truth he said you sent him but I don't know I just thought he was lying I'm not supposed to just let people in here but then he got mad, saying, "Oh, just terrible things." I have to go, man. I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. This Is everything was... okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. He's... he looks like a good guy. Just... sad. Maybe a little lonely. <laughs> Knock the door. We're closed. I need to talk need to, to Holly. La, 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 la. Please open the fucking door. Thank you. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, they're high as fuck. Well, come on in, buddy. I ass fucking Brent. fucked fuck. What? He's a traveler. A weary yeah, sure. traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend. Weinhardt said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says or what you say? Probably not. Grant, really, you shouldn't drink or <sighs> I need can't hear you when you're Where's mom. Holly? Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? You tried. Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Nice. And it looks like you you're enjoying you it. Shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. 
certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt I'm this off good the crane, motherfuckers. Time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right. The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. <clears throat> Wait, sorry. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send off for a pretty okay lady. Guess so. You, know, you weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Maybe you should look Can't at me you if you're talking to me. Help things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. I'm staying out of that thing. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Oh, Unless yeah. I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Brand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get Fine. loaded. Fine. I'll have with a drink him. with you. To the dead. All right. Now help me. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. Gran, fucking I said relax. I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Guys, <laughs> stop it. Honestly. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What news? Walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and little. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's Grand, okay. give it a rest. I'll tell you Come what he on. thinks. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Grand. Bye, Woody. See you later. Grand. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> what a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Bye, what Gran. A fucking day. No shit, he won't remember this. <sighs> okay. Don't wake Holly. Has she been drinking? Uh, uh, uh. 
Look at that. <sighs> Hello, Holly. That you, Woody? <sighs> Woody? No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Boss closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Apparently, I do. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that got out I'm work one of you for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know you didn't. Grew up wearing fur and sharp dates. <laughs> Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I'm tracking a I'm lead. Just, I'm tracking a lead. Huh. Yeah? Yeah. The book. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. I feel sorry for Holly. I really do. If you were getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Anti Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Yep. Baby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Gran, I'm taking the phone. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Let's go. Alright, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. Alright, I'll see you there. Puff and puff. Bitches. Big B! I just got here. Yeah. Hey, Snow, what's up, girl? We're late. How yeah, you doing? This is it. Alright. How do you want to do this? We're knocking. As always. <laughs> this isn't the big bad wolf. This is the big polite wolf. Hello? Hello? Hello, little girl. What's up? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something Sorry. Wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm the sheriff. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. <laughs> okay. To meet you. How do you do? 
Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something... Can you talk to her, Snow? Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? Yep. <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. And we just stroll inside the house. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. <clears throat> I don't believe her. For some okay, reason. Hey, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Yeah, I'm not for anything breaking anything. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Let's look at that. That your mom? Uh huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Dick's Mountain. What the fuck is it's Dick's Mountain? Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Well, it's old school. Very, very old school. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. A tree. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. No one's been over all night. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Don't be too cocky now, little girl. I'm still investigating. On to greet Leif. The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. Ugh. I do too. And probably Can he's I go still to here. Bed now, please. No, you can't. Something is there. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm I'll already be careful, gone. little girl. I'm not Relax. Break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Oh! <laughs> well. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Why the little Why, girl? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. And good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Where's Crane? 
speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know hmm. that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. Why not? You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't Please, want come on. for enemies. Please, Crane is a murderer and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, we can protect you, okay? Okay, I'm going whatever to try and be nice. Of, we can make sure that it won't come to Maybe pass. she's cooperating you then. Have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other green people's misery. I know Greenleaf is doing Two something wrong. Are dead but I also think it's Snow is being a little too her. cruel You think I right like now. being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but No, please. we can't. Snow, it's too much. You can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby? This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Then I'm why sorry, did you but give it to him? We still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. No. You, know, you aren't technically my boss yet, Snow. Do you think this is a joke? No, I don't. The fact is, Cole hasn't confirmed you. Until he does, you have absolutely no authority over me. I'm sorry, Snow, but that's burn that's down fucking true. Tree. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. Wow, that's a side of snow I've never seen. She's fucking cruel. Oh my god. And by that... I have to end the episode, I'm sorry. It's over the time also, but if you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Wolf Among Us. Goodbye.